morning, motherfuckers. We are headed to the landfill. Got a full load, if you can see that, up in the trailer, or hooked up to the trailer, or whatever the fuck I'm trying to say. We're headed to the landfill, and then we got two small little mini pickups afterwards. All right, we made it to the landfill. It is quite busy this morning. Got a line of three or four people here, but it should move pretty quickly. Busy morning. We out of here. Double that. <laughs> this is how bumpy it is. We're doing the same thing. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> see you later, landfill. Literally. We'll see you later. There's fucking millions of birds. Not really millions, but fucking 10,000 birds over there and fucking around. 10K! Definitely a heavy ass load. Um, since it was a dumpster rental, they just freaking uh, you know, just dumped it however they wanted to, which is, I guess, a part of it. But uh, all the heavy shit was right in the back, so even on the interstate, we were starting to like wobble a little bit. So I had to slow down and go super slow. But definitely a heavy load. I'm guessing probably around 40 bucks. Um, probably right over two tons, but that's my guess for today's. So. We shall see. It's looking like without one of us in there, we would probably be, we're right at 2,000 pounds or a ton, so it, hopefully it's only gonna be about $37. So we're about to find out. And then we are headed to uh, two more, or one, well, yeah, two small pickups, and then probably gonna head back here and dispose of the rest of this shit. How much did it end up being? Uh, $32.56. Even better. <laughs> I like that. All right, we are at a nice little complex to uh, remove these two items real quick on the first floor. Should take literally 10 minutes or less once we pull up. Right in here on the first floor, baby. All righty. That was a simple, simple pickup. Kyle is dealing with the payment right now. Um, we're gonna probably resell this couch. That's going to trash for sure. And then we're about to pick up a recliner or a three-seater sofa chair thing and then head back to the landfill and get rid of those two items. All right, that last job literally took 11 minutes. We just got into this second neighborhood to do another small pickup. All these houses are just one story, so it's on the first floor. And uh, we are one minute away. That one should also take a nice 10 minutes at maximum, so. Alrighty, that one took about 20 minutes because we ended up going moving a couch for her from one room to another for an extra 40 bucko. So that is $167 in 20 minutes, baby. Here's that 20, whenever you get that, your 20. And uh, now we are headed out of here. I'm gonna go drop this shit off at the landfill and then, uh, depending on if we get any more calls or not, either do some more jobs if we get another call while we're out or time for the gym, baby. One of the two. So we'll keep you updated as always.
Bike week still in effect, baby. For a whole nother week. It's Monday, so we got until next Sunday. Sunday's when it kind of dies down. That's when everybody starts leaving mostly out of town. Bam. Bam. All right. Bam. Motherfuckers. I just don't hit your head while don't hit your head while raising up. Yeah, shit. All right. Well, there's one. You know where we at? Actually, where we just left. Fucking chest day. Kyle got to work out in. I got to work out in. Feeling fucking great. God oh. damn it. <laughs> yes, sir. Can't even put fucking glasses up there. Um, chest day though. Got it in, incline dumbbell, incline uh, bench press, pec deck or, or pec flies, and chest press. 30 minutes of cardio, as always, 15 minutes of stretching. Didn't do the sauna today because you don't need to do it every day, but I sure wanted to. Shit is enjoyable as fuck. So, don't even know how to explain this weather right now. It's like misting, but it's not raining. Um, so, we're gonna head home. Stop by the bank, drop some money off, and then we out of here. We are about to make a motherfucking banger. Believe that. Always working. It's not fully done yet, but I just made a banging ass fucking song. Shit's gonna be really fire. I just got finished ad libs. Besides that, it's fucking done. Um, tea ready for the morning. It's 8.30 p.m. BCAA and protein shake, good to go. Um, fasted today besides the protein shake um didn't eat any food the, you know i don't want to speak before speak ahead of myself but i am going to fast for a few days so may god be with me may god give me the power to make it happen and we gonna make it happen god damn it so much love to y'all all these paintings are by me by the way um i'll slowly start uploading them when I upload or, you know, when I finish this badass painting I'm working on and I start or create my new uh, website to sell them on, then I'll slowly start uploading my other paintings that are older. But it's just important for everybody to know, I've always undervalued myself as an artist and I'm not going to do cheap paintings anymore. Um, you could have the coolest fucking painting in the world. And when it comes to truly wealthy people, and I mean wealthy people, not people that are fucking living paycheck to paycheck in a half a million or million dollar house, 
I'm talking about truly wealthy fucking people that buy assets and collect art. This could be their favorite fucking painting in the world, but they're not going to buy it if it's a hundred bucks because they want bragging rights. Not only are they able to resell it because they paid for what, because of what they paid for it, they can sell it for more, but it's not impressive if you're a multimillionaire and you say, look at this painting I bought for a hundred bucks. They want to be able to say, look at this painting I paid five grand for so they can brag to their friends. On top of that, I know what my art is worth and I know what I'm going to be selling it at. So all of my paintings, once they start getting uploaded, are not going to be cheap. $1,000 is going to be the minimum price. Um, well, $500 is going to be the minimum price for small paintings. But anything big, heavy, heavy duty, um, things that I put way more time into, uh, price is undetermined, but it's not going to be cheap. Just going to go ahead and say that now. So this, my paintings ain't for the brokies. And uh, the first painting, the pendulum painting that I am working on, I'm listing for five fucking thousand dollars. So I know somebody's gonna buy it. God not only directed me on a day I was fucking just having a terrible day again, um, you know, I got the intuition to start painting again and the number for my first painting, it just popped up in my mind, um, which I call that God. When I was already not painting, I got the, got the sign to start painting again and the number 5,000 popped up in my head and there's a reason for that. And so that is what I'm going to list my first painting for that goes back up on my site and it is going to sell. So time to make my dreams a reality, keep making fire music, keep making fire ass paintings. And with that being said, I will catch y'all bright and early in the morning tomorrow. Love from the family, Stormy, me, Sonny, wherever he's at, mom, Kyle. We'll catch y'all plays later. Appreciate you watching. As always, give me some hearts. Talk to you soon.